Hi, Coach Laura Erickson with BlondeRunner.com. I wanted to talk about mental training. Often I think this is something that's missed a lot. Everybody's worried about what they need to be for, do for training, recovering, nutrition, and those are all very important. But when it comes right down to it, if you are training for anything long course, even short stuff, but long course like um, half marathon, marathon, half Ironman, Ironman, mental training becomes incredibly important. Because at the end of that race, when when you have, your body is spent, you are tapping into what you can, how you can push yourself, your drive, your dedication, your commitment. All those things that you practiced in your training in terms of mental practice are coming into play at the end of that race. So some of the things that I like to do, and I've shared this on, a, on some of my other tips, is I like to train as closely to the environment as I'm going to be racing. So I do uh, train a lot of my athletes very specifically for certain courses that they're going to be racing as well as myself. So I'll look at the terrain that I'm going to be dealing with and I'll see if I can find a route that's similar or a hill that's similar or the weather that's similar. I remember when I was training for nationals, uh, age group nationals for triathlon, it was in Vermont and I I was hoping it was going to be as humid as possible. I did some training in very humid environments like a sauna, those kind of things to help me prepare for that race in an environment that was very different from Utah environment. So um, I think if you can help yourself there, you're going to be more mentally prepared because you've faced some of the elements. If you're going to be racing in a lot of wind, trying to mimic that as much as, as possible. Other things that you can do for mental training. I know some people struggle to run. They hate it. They don't like it at all. And so, um, you know, I think anyone could choose to have that attitude. They can choose to hate it and they are not probably going to love it or get better. If you choose to embrace what you like about something, you choose to look at the positive, you're probably going to enjoy it a lot better. I could list the hard things about running and why it could not be enjoyable. It's hard. You have to take showers a lot if you get all sweaty and... Um, it could be inconvenient, that kind of thing. But, you know, I try to look at what it does for me. It's fun. I get to be part of a community that runs. A lot of us do it. Um, it helps me with my health. It helps me mentally uh, to, you know, just sort out all the things that I need to in a day. So there's a lot of mental benefits. Other ways that you can prepare in terms of racing mentally is not only practicing the terrain, things that you're going to be dealing with, is visualization. This is something a lot of athletes talk about, a lot of coaches have athletes doing. Visualization, there's different forms of visualization. I think the important thing is to see yourself being successful. Visualizing success. I know a lot of people, a lot of my athletes have told me about dreams that they're having that they fall off their bike or they get a flat tire or something like that. And those things ha you know, can happen in dreams and things. But when it comes to visualization, it should be you visualizing yourself as being successful. And as I've talked about before on the goal setting tip that I gave, I think it's really important to focus on what you're doing at the time, the process. And so when you do visualization, like for me, I will often take myself through in my mind the race, maybe things I would say to myself and even say to myself when I'm getting tired, like, oh, I'm tired. What am I going to say back to myself? You can do it, girl. You got this. Even coming up with ma mantras that you can tell yourself during the race very beneficial, especially if you practice that in training. One thing I would say to be careful about is getting too dependent on music. A lot of races don't allow it. So using music as a tool, but not handicapping yourself with something that you have to have. So those are just a few tips on mental training. I will be covering this one more. There's lots of elements that I think are important to touch on here. So please tune back in. I hope you've subscribed to the Blonde Runner channel already because I would love to have you coming back and learning more from me.